That one's popped high, high in the air. Jeremy Pena drifts out. Jordan Alvarez coming in, and they collide. Pena and Alvarez hit hard in shallow left field. Pena still down, and he held on to the baseball. One of the two held on to the baseball. The outs have been called. Both Jordan and Pena are down. Mm. Pena held on to the ball, but right now the big concern is the health of Jordan Alvarez and Jeremy Pena. Yeah, right now you're just hoping that the shock of contact has knocked the wind out of him. That just takes a couple minutes to get that breath back. But if you're an Astro fan, this is worst case scenario. You could almost see that coming. Yeah. With both guys going full out for that baseball. The only hope you have is they weren't going at full speed when they created contact. Pain is up. So that's a good sign. Still tending to Jordan. Pena flips the baseball out of his glove. That is a jarring catch. Not sure how Pena held on to this ball. Pena was going a long way too, but it, you can see it keep drifting to the outfield. Jordan comes in late. That is a massive human to run into. Oh, looks like that left arm maybe to the face of Pena, but he's up. The left arm to the face of Jordan as well. And that's probably the biggest concern right there. It looks like he took the brunt of it. Right across the bridge of the nose. That was a heavy amount of impact on both sides. As a stunning collision as Alvarez took the left arm. Jeremy Pena right across his face. Pena appears to be okay. Now the concern with Alvarez. Jeremiah Randall, Eric Velasquez tending to Jordan. With that blow across the face. No, nah, you're you're 100 percent right. It is that left arm to the across the left side of the face to Jordan. There's no way he's staying in this game. Jeremiah Randall helping him with his balance here. Jordan's going to want to stay in, but with concussion protocol, you don't take any chances right now. As much as he wants to stay in, as much as Dusty wants him to stay in, there's really no decision to be made here. Jordan's going to have to leave this game. See him rubbing that the nose on the right side of his cheek, kind of inside the gum. The fact he's up is great news. Taz McCormick has run out on the field, so he'll be the new left fielder. They're going to bring a card out to take Jordan off the field. Chaz is starting to get some wind sprints in and loosen up, jog around, get his body loose down the left field line. So he'll take over and left. I believe Pena is going to stay in the game based on his reaction. Eric Velasquez checking with him. But Jordan will be carted off here after that serious collision in left field. He's responsive in talking to the fellas. See, he seems to be 
at least in good spirits as good as he can be being carted off a of field tried to grab Alex Bregman's sunglasses there. Well sometimes the nose piece or the frame of the, the sunglasses. Oh, don't do that. How about a heads up. It's like the subway last night going back on the, those quick starts when it actually did start. <laughs> With your dawn. I hope he's all right. We will give you an update as soon as we can. But right now we're just hoping that he's all right as he's having a conversation. You can see looking back at it between Dusty Yuli and Jordan. It's like he's trying to have the conversation to stick around. But you're right, they're not going to take chances with his ability to risk staying in this game. That is the one time Jordan Alvarez will stare you down and be emphatic about something and you say no way. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot play. There's no reason to mess with a blow to the head like that. So here's Chaz McCormick. He's the new left fielder. They're still checking on Pena. I thought he was going to stay in, but now they're taking another look at Pena and he may be out as well. Aled Miss Diaz and Alex Bregman said, hey, we may need to get a new shortstop as well. So McCormick goes in the left. You would imagine Mauricio Dubon would be an option 